different uh, you know patients kids living with cat six and look at how they differ with the different phenotype with the different the way the disease is expressed differently in the different uh, kits, you know. The families and you have one to take home. Come so let's leave the and then we'll take it and you take Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Let's go on. Oh, and I forgot she was in there. Charlotte. 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 She looks familiar. I think I've seen her on the website. I'm right behind you, Kevin. Okay, you've got And over here is Gwen. She is uh, from the Hagen and she also volunteered her time to work as a fish artist. You can see they have Alex, that's how they get their name. Fish. And they seem really different from us, right? Um, they look completely different, but what's incredible is that actually about 70%. Would anyone like to take a look through the microscope? Inside that, you'll see it looks like a look. Doesn't it almost look like a sound? And so I'm going here. See if you can see it. See what you can. These are the little, um, tiny little fish. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Taylor. I'm a PhD student. Just as somebody like Peppa Pig can become anything that she wants to be in this world, like an artist, a doctor, or a construction worker, um, a stem cell can go on to become any type of cell that it wants to become. Like inside each one of those incubators are cells. A little bit. Um, and also they glow green. Um, but basically we start out with those cells that uh, Taylor was just describing and then uh, we push the cells by introducing other signaling factors and the cells actually uh, at this point are neural stem cells. We had a hard time finding a facility like Boston University who shares Uh, how we do it, and why it's so important that we all come together to achieve this common goal of advancing knowledge on uh, CAT 6A and the uh, related disorders. So thank you so much for being here.